This demo is going to go through how to create a Pac-Man animation um, where we're going to create the Pac-Man animation and then we're going to reuse it um, as many times as we'd like. This is a technique you can use for any animation, not just Pac-Man. So let's go ahead up to File, New, and New Project. Go ahead and create a new composition. And for right now, it doesn't matter what the color is, uh, as long as it's different than what your Pac-Man is going to be. But we're going to call this particular comp Pac-Man. And so we're going to go in here, go up to our ellipse. And I'm going to choose a fill, no stroke, whatever color you'd like. Make sure when you drag it out, you hold down shift and you release the mouse and then shift. This should uh, keep it all scaled up uh, how we want. And big thing right now is our anchor point is in the middle. So we're going to hit V to get our uh, arrow, our selection tool. And we just want to click off and make sure, like click deselect and then maybe click on shape layer one. Make sure that's centered. If it's not, you can right click transform center anchor point and layer content. Um, it looks good right now. That's very important for this one. So we're going to use an, uh, another technique now called trim paths and trim paths are down here on your, uh, where it says add. So if you don't see that, you can twirl down your layer. We're going to go to add and I'm going to go to trim paths and we're going to twirl down trim paths and we're just going to change the start. So you can see here it kind of looks like a windshield wiper, right? Um, we can modify both sides, start and end if we wanted to. Uh, I'm going to undo that and I'm just going to modify the start so that it's at 50%. We're just creating the backside of the Pac-Man character. From here, I'm going to go ahead and just click off and I'm going to duplicate this layer, Command-D. And I'm going to title this one by hitting return and call it bottom. And from here, we're going to go into bottom and I'm going to hit R for rotation. And I'm just going to change my rotation to be the bottom of the mount. Now, the actual number we want is negative 45 for that one. For the top, we're going to Command-D. We're going to go into rotation for that one, and I'm just going to swing it the other way into 45. So you can type that in manually, or you can uh, change, just slide the number, click and slide. Okay, so uh, I'm going to go ahead and change or close out my shape layer one here, which is my base backside of the Pac-Man. Um, but what I am going to do is my play is at zero, and I'm going to turn on my rotation for both the bottom, and I'm going to retitle this one top. And so we want to say it at the beginning. Our rotation is looking like this. So that's Pac-Man's mouth is open. We're going to move our playhead forward slightly, maybe a quarter, half a second, and I'm going to close it up. So we have rotation turned on both stopwatches, and we want to actually change that to 90 or negative 90 for the top and bottom, and hit return. And so now it's going to look like a completed circle. So it looks open to close, and then we're going to keep going. Let's move it up, and I'm going to do that again, where I'm just going to back that back open. So, And if you want to get it perfect, we're looking for 45 and negative 45 you could do it manually there may be some errors with that but uh trying to make it look as good as we can so here's my animation uh from here we only want the animation from open to close to open so we're gonna put our playhead at those last keyframes and we're gonna hit n which trims our work area you can see our work area just trimmed let me do that again playheads here hit n you can also do that by grabbing this blue marker and just sliding it but i like the n uh, just kind of trims it perfectly. And then what we're going to do is this little light gray area here, which is called our work area. We're going to right click and say trim comp to work area. And now it takes care of everything. We're trimmed down to exactly what we want to see. Let's see. Looks great. Okay. So now I'm ready to go in and, and animate this. I'm going to go and create a new composition. We're going to call this one main. Again, it doesn't matter background color. We'll add a solid. So in our main, we're going to go down to our layers, right click, new solid. Go ahead and create a solid. You don't have to title it anything. But this is going to be our background color. Again, don't be, don't let it be the same color as the Pac-Man. Okay, from here, we want to take the Pac-Man animation up here out of our project folder and just drop it down on top. So it's now the top thing behind that is, we, is our teal. Okay, I'm going to actually size this down by hitting S and just sliding that down, just making it slightly smaller. And from here, we're going to, we want this to loop. So right now, it only plays one time through. If I hit spacebar and then it ends, right? So we want this thing to continue on forever to loop. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click on this layer and go to time and enable time remapping. That's going to pull up these two keyframes and this this watch. Right now we want to hold down option and then click on that time remap watch. That's going to open up these options. We want to go then to this arrow and go to property and loop out. You have loop in, loop in duration, loop out duration. We want to just straight up loop out. And this tells this thing to loop forever. Okay, the last step here, oops is we're gonna zoom in just a little bit here. And what I wanna do is get just before, the frame right before that last keyframe, pull it back one frame, and go over to our, our layers and just create a, a manual keyframe, okay? 
and I'm gonna delete by clicking on that third one and hitting delete. So um, at this point, uh, our thing's ready to loop. So I'm just gonna go to the end of this uh, composition. I'm just gonna drag this out. I'm gonna zoom out a little bit. So I'm working in seconds instead of frames and we'll drag this to 15 maybe. And go ahead and hit play. And what should happen is your, your character should just keep going, keep looping. Okay, so from here, this is good. Okay, we don't wanna touch any of this stuff anymore. Next, we're gonna start keyframing position. So I'm gonna hit P for position. Okay, I'm gonna pull my playhead back to zero. I'm gonna turn on the stopwatch and I'm gonna put this Pac-Man off screen where he starts. Okay, I'm gonna say, all right, you know, two, two and a half seconds in, where do I want you to end up? I want you to end up on the other side. And so now let's hit play. There he is. Okay, now we're gonna duplicate this one, that exact one, Command D. It's already looped, but I'm gonna hit position now and I'm gonna turn off the stopwatch on just that one. Okay, that erased all the keyframes, that's okay. I'm gonna pull them back on and I'm gonna hit S for scale. I'm gonna make this one slightly smaller. And now I'm gonna re-keyframe position on this one. Pull back, turn on my P for position, and I'm gonna say, all right, little Pac-Man, start off screen here. Okay, at four seconds, you're gonna take a little bit longer to get off screen. Okay, and so this is what we're looking at, right? He goes a little bit slower than the other one. Okay, uh, let's do it again. Command D, okay. I'm gonna turn on position to turn off my keyframes for that pull back on screen. This time I'm gonna show a little trick where we can flip it to go the other way. I just grab with my arrow V, um, just flip this and hold down shift. And now he's going the other direction. And now I can, again, turn on my stopwatch for position and say, okay, start here. And I have him take a little bit longer as well and end here. So now looking at this, we have all these going different speeds and just looping through. Okay, one last thing we could do here is I'm gonna Command D that one, turn off my position, okay? And I'm gonna rotate this one, so he's gonna go at an angle, so rotate, point him down, hit P for position, tell this Pac-Man to start up off corner, turn on my stopwatch at zero, and then we'll say he'll take till six seconds. Okay, and you can just offset these start times, you can make more smaller ones, uh, you can, you know, just kind of play around. You can just make this army of Pac-Man. And this idea functions for anything. It doesn't just have to be Pac-Man. Okay, any animation you want to just continue to loop and use, you can do. Uh, you can get really fancy if you wanted to make duplicates of that Pac-Man uh, comp and then change colors. Uh, and that would work as well. So, uh, but right now this looks good. And so I would be ready to export that or just play around and create more.